As one of the most established rows in the game, healers have been one of the least touched upon. We've had many 7 stars and Neo Vision Awaken healers, and they definitely performed well. But the last time we even had a Neo Vision healer was Shui Yu. And if you discount limited units, then we have to look all the way back at Remake Aerith. So seeing a new healer right here right now, long overdue to say the least. Presnik's Trustmaster reward is a robe with high spirit, and has a smattering of bonus effects, with a bit of elemental resistance and some passive stat buffs. Upgrade it through the associated event to get even more stat buffs and an MP regen. His Super Trustmaster reward is a hat, and boasts one of the highest spirit stats in the game. It also comes with a 30% boost to HP, MP, and Spirit, which makes it a great fit for many units. On to his active abilities. First, we'll look at his magic spells. He has the mandatory white magic kit for all advanced white mages. Full life can actually be awakened further, so that way it fully revives their entire team. Next, abilities. Presnik's attacks deal magic damage that scale off his spirit stat. Medicinal Mastery grants your team a powerful re-raise, and then throws on a whopping 50% physical and magical mitigation buff against human enemies. Sanitizing Light deals light damage that chains of Chaos Wave awaken. The following medicinal abilities all fill the morale gauge in Clash of Wills. Potion restores your team's HP and MP, and grants your team a HP barrier. Remedy cures any status ailments on your team, removes any breaks, and then grants them resistance to both status ailments and breaks. Antioxidant removes any imperos on her team, and boosts their light damage by 15%. Supplement boosts your team's limit burst damage by 100%, their limit burst gauge fill rate by 150%, and their stats by 250%. Sacrificial Siphon can be used once per battle. It's a team revive, tax on a powerful re-raise, and then Kresnik kills himself to fully restore your team's HP and MP. But with the re-raise buff, Kresnik will come back to life anyways, though you have to be aware that he comes back with no buffs. Passives. With his Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, he gains Status Ailment Resistance, 50% Elemental Resistance across the board when his HP falls below 50%, and gives him access to a Triple Cast. He has no Killer Buffs, boost to his Limit Burst Gauge Fill Rate, or any other knickknacks of the sort. He does, however, have a Guts Buff, a MP Regen, and automatically inflicts any one of these Status Ailments on the opposing team because he feels like it. He prefers to hold a single weapon, and his normal attack actually fills your team's limit burst gauges by a decent amount and cures zombie, in case that's a problem. Let's look at his limit burst. It removes any debuffs, including stop, charm, and berserk, cures all status ailments, heals your team, restores some MP, and then on the next turn, automatically activates decontamination, which recovers a fixed amount of your team's HP and MP. And then it hurts Kresnik. Then, on the next turn, it activates again. And as you can see here, it will do it again and again and again. This is a permanent effect, and will keep going until Kresnik himself dies. Now, time to change forms. Kresnik's Brave Shift has a 3 turn duration and a whopping 5 turn cooldown. Onto his active abilities. His medicinal abilities become arcane. In other words, they get stronger. They also come with their own continuous extra effects, just like his limit bursts. Potion gets better, and on the following turns, it will automatically activate Potent Efficacy, which applies a HP barrier, hits the enemy with a light attack, and then hurts Kresnik. Remedy now comes with Stop and Charm Resistance, and its extra effect, Remedial Reaction, will apply Break, Stop, and Charm Resistance every turn. And then it also hurts Kresnik. Antioxidant not only removes Imperos, but boosts your team's elemental resistance by 80%. The light damage buff has also risen to 35%, and every turn, it will activate Oxidation Effect. This constantly buffs your team's elemental resistance by 60%, and then surprise surprise, Kresnik stubs his toe. Supplement gets even stronger, raising all of their buffs to more impressive degrees, and also fills your team's limit burst gauges by a decent amount. From that point forward, Supplemental Charge will activate, buffing your team's stats by 200%, hitting the enemy, hitting Kresnik, and make you question what on earth is your team breathing. Arcane Stimulant fills the morale gauge, and then it just keeps filling it every turn after that. Shining Siphon can be used once per battle, and imbues light onto everyone, including your enemies, but it also lets your team absorb light damage for a single turn, thus giving them a turn of potential immunity, and it boosts light damage by 30%. Kresnik himself also absorbs light damage for 3 turns, preventing him from hurting himself any more than he already does. For a limited time, of course. Passives. With his Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, Kresnik gets Stop and Charm Immunity, 
the elemental resistance under 50% HP, and then automatically activates Miasmic Pandemic every turn. This ability brings back the Hex Effect, which damages your enemy for every status ailment they're carrying. He'll also activate Spiritual Therapy every turn, filling the morale gauge so long as he keeps his mask off. Unfortunately, in this form, he only has access to triple white magic, which isn't the same as his original triple cast. More on that later. First, let's look at his limit burst. Cure and Curse activates a dispel, hits the enemy, heals your team, applies a HP barrier, and then every turn after that, anatomical comprehension. This consistently grants your team a double human killer, fills the morale gauge, and then he stabs himself. Let's rank Brave abilities. I'd prioritize Miraculous Miasma for more stats, Sacrificial Siphon to turn it into a full restore, and Shining Siphon to get the full scope of its life bonuses. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn 1, ask yourself if he's a damage dealer. On turn 2, use Riser's Limit Burst. So how good is Kresnik? As a healer, he's definitely superb. Kind of crazy too. Permanent additional effects that proc every turn is absolutely entertaining. Makes you wonder what's actually happening down there. Unfortunately, the debuffs are permanent, some of them aren't extraordinary to compensate. The elemental resistance one isn't that strong, the HP barrier is kinda frail, and the stat buffs are just average. But the break, stop, and charm resistance is just brilliant, and you can't forget that Kresnik's base form has their own on-demand abilities to give an extra boost. Really, you can't forget that the origin of these permanent abilities are abilities themselves, and thus have their own turn duration for their stronger effects. Overall, this style is amazing, as the consistent application ensures that you'll never be naked or afraid, as you'll always have some layer of defensive covering. Hopefully. Unfortunately, one notable thing he actually lacks is mitigation, but I'm sure all of you like to bring your own tank. The Brave Shift limitations and triple cast restrictions actually make sense, given that once you turn on every effect here, a combination of his own abilities and whatever your team is breathing gives you a blanket to cover most issues. But there is one thing you must avoid at all costs, Kresnik's own demise. Every permanent ability is only accessible through Kresnik himself. Once he dies, you have to activate every one of these effects again. Luckily, his own passives go a good way to ensuring his survival, with 100% camouflage and a large amount of spear once he's built. Still, you do want to put in some effort yourself just to be safe. While Kresnik does hurt himself, he's also really good at healing, making this kind of move. If you're really worried about it, you can just give the man light resistance, as all of his self-inflicted attacks are light for whatever reason. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you've got Kresnik, or if you're more interested in Bulwark and the Melodic mascots instead. Personally, I'm already here.